So what about billing yourself? So you've set up kind of all the basics of billing yourself, and then we're going to talk about what to look for in a biller and kind of when it's worth your time to do it yourself and hire someone in-house versus just outsource it. Talk about that process of billing yourself. Yeah, so um, there's so many programs now that make it really simple. Um, for example, we use Theranest, there's Simple Practice, there's Therapy Notes, there's all kinds of um, electronic health records that uh, make it really easy to send those claims electronically. So obviously, depending on the system that you're using, it's going to be a little bit different. But um, you know, that's sort of the fastest, quickest way is sending those claims electronically. And then um, you know, our insurance companies around here are pretty quick to turn those claims around. So within a week or two, we're getting paid, um, which is excellent for us. So um, as far as, you know, some people just don't want to use an electronic system and they want to do it by hand, um, the insurance companies will no longer accept like handwritten claim forms. So it has to be typed. Um, and I guess you could figure out a way to type into the claim form, but I think it's just so much easier just to use typewriter. Um, yeah, with a typewriter. Yeah. My my uh, my grandma in law uh, is ninety four, and she has this old like it's not a typewriter. It's that next generation where it's like electronic. And she was uh -huh. like, "Joe, you could use this in your practice." And I was <laughs> like, "Thanks, Grandma Bun, but no thanks. We have computers now." <laughs> uh -huh. 